What do you think is the most common trait, you know, when, you, when you're new and you're inexperienced versus when you're at your level, at a very high level? Is it just the discipline and, and understanding all the components to it, or is there a specific transition well, that takes place once you've... I think it's very hard to... Uh, when you, you learn to be a, a young cook, you know, uh, you basically take care of your little station and you have to make sure it's perfect mm -hmm. and, and, uh, and you have to run it the, be the best as possible, you know, and of course you have to, to be disciplined and, and all those things. But then after, you know, you have to pass some different cap, you know, when you become sous chef and, and chef, you know, to have a, a bigger uh, a picture of the actual business. And, uh, and, you know, it takes a, it's a challenge, you know, because when you train as a, like I did, I was more trained in the kitchen than with numbers in you know, Cornell University or things like that, you know, I didn't do those kind of school, you know. And uh, when, when you become a chef, I mean, you really have to, to see the whole spectrum, you know, sure. and you have to, you know, see what's gonna happen in terms of food costs, in terms of labor costs, mm -hmm. in terms of actual business overall and all what goes into it and um, I think you know uh, you keep learning as you go and uh, it's not only about cooking you know so what's your advice to chefs that are starting out well uh, like you mean as a young chef or as a chef um, both I guess I mean mainly people who want to be professional chefs who are beginning their careers well if you begin your career you know i will say that the best advice is uh first you know you have to be patient i see a lot of uh, young chefs are not very patient and try to work six months for a chef and six months for another one and uh i don't think it's the right way to learn you really absorb you know things you know from a chef like recipes and attitude and and, and technique and the way a chef think after a year and a half two years i would say you know like really Takes you time. really understand what you know what, what the chef want you know <clears throat> I mean at least a year you know and um, and besides so you have to be patient for that you know and also you have to be patient and don't want to be like a, a manager right away you know uh, I see a lot of kids who come out of school and in school I think they push them hard to to become manager you know which is good you know because they learn a lot of uh, different things you know but um, in terms of cooking they don't have so much knowledge so they kind of want to burn the steps and, and you know it's Cooking, you, you cannot really burn steps, you know. I mean, you have to, it takes years, you know, to, to really uh, achieve your career and, and become a chef. And uh, as a young chef, you know, a lot of people are not patient that way. Mm -hmm. And they think it's gonna, it's gonna come instantly. Right. And uh, traveling, you know, it's also a good way, you know, to learn different things, you know. I mean, I see a lot of young chefs uh, go from the East Coast to the West Coast, to Europe. Uh, see different approach of cooking and I think it's great you know and uh, and I also uh, for my point of view I think it's better to learn from a chef who do classic cooking first and then go to something more modern if they're more interested in that right then going backward you know so learn the classic and then break the rules and expand yeah, exactly, if you're going you know? to but know the but foundation the, because most chefs who cook like a modern cuisine you know, we're based on like classic cooking, you know, sure. then they kind of like adapt it, you know, a different way, mm -hmm. but at least they understand, you know, the process. It's important. And, uh, yeah. yeah, I think it's very important. That's and great. as a chef, you know, I mean, it's uh, to, to become, you know, a head chef, you know, and, and I think it's just a matter, you know, of uh, motivation and having a good team around you and, and uh, just, you know, pushing hard every day, you know. That's great.